Tonight, I'm staying in the worst rated hotel in Britain, and it might be even more grim than I first thought. Is that blood? Reviews call it a hotel from hell, with former addicts saying they've stayed in better drug dens, but surely Booking.com wouldn't list a place that's actually unsafe? Somebody just came into my room. Or would they? I headed to Stockton on Tees in the north of England to find out. Well, we've arrived to the area where the hotel is. It's on an industrial estate. I've got no idea what to expect. Maybe it's just a lovely place that's misunderstood, but it was rated 4.4 out of 10, which is pretty low on Booking.com. Couldn't find any other places lower than that on Booking.com. Here goes, Industrial Estate Hotel, come on. Okay, so I've just arrived, and uh, to be fair to the guy on reception, did a great job cracking John for checking me in. The room is, um, different. I mean, I'm not so sure that's supposed to be like that, next to a sink. Is that a mixture of like electricity and water? I don't know. I'm not an electrician. To be fair to it, it's not too bad. It's a double bed. I haven't tried the bed yet. It might not be very good, but the double bed's not too bad. Decent sized room. 35 quid. It's all right. TV on the wall. Towels. We've got a shared bathroom. Kettle. Quite sticky. Not sure what that screw's doing there. Don't really know what that's all about. And, uh, Blood. God knows what's happened. Right, bed test. Let's see what this thing's like. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's uh, it's soft and bouncy. Weirdly bouncy. Like a bouncy castle. So far, it doesn't seem too bad. They're quite thin walls. I feel like everyone can hear. I do kind of want to know what the bathroom situation's like. Let's go have a look. It's like a plain toilet. <laughs> for the life of me how to close these blinds. just left to go get some food because it is sort of like tea time now. Not as bad as some of the reviews were suggesting so far. Not sure what it's going to be like at night time. The walls are paper thin so I didn't really feel like I could talk in there because everyone can hear you. You can't really say a lot. To be fair it seems pretty clean. It doesn't smell particularly. The toilets are a bit bizarre. I mean that was like a small toilet cubicle type thing. There are ones obviously with showers in as well. I'm not too pleased about being on the ground floor because apparently there's a lot of drinking at night and barbecues and stuff out front from some of the people that live there. A lot of people saying that some of the people that live there just left prison or perhaps homeless and are being housed there. That's what a lot of people on the reviews have said, they thought. So far, I've not really got a whiff of that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they're not here today. Anyway, let's go get some food. Uh, <laughs> gonna get some something to eat. We do have some places to eat nearby. I say places to eat. McDonald's isn't really a place to eat, but it's there. Somehow a wrap a rocky road and a water came to £9.80. I've just been robbed. I don't buy anything else. I'll end up having to get a mortgage out. I've decided that because I'm still hungry and I can't be bothered spending more money at Costa Coffee, there's only one place to go. McDonald's! This was only £8.68. Less. More for less. Right, I've finished a McDonald's. Feel a bit sick, to be honest now. Had a bit too much to eat. I'm not a big McDonald's fan, to be honest with you. I don't know why I went. Well, I do know why I went. I was still hungry after the, the cost of coffee. Off now to uh, go around B&Q. Uh, maybe get something for the bed in the hotel room. <laughs> Some new cushions or something. Just a new mattress, actually. It's been a while since I've been in a and q I quite like them. Might get some new paint, new liquor paint for the room. Needs it. Really trying to resist the temptation to buy this. Love lives here. I just think it would look lovely on the bed. I mean, to be honest, that would come in handy. I may or may not have purchased a few items for the room. Well, what a successful trip that was to B&Q. Got a few things, and now it's time to get back to the hotel room and kit the place out. We've got to make it look nice, we've got to make it look a respectable establishment. It's my job as the customer to make it inhabitable. Also, hopefully no one's broken into the room since I was last in. Fingers crossed. Apparently things do get worse at night there. I've heard reports of police going around, of shouting, of fighting. It seemed pretty chilled when I was there before. Well, it wasn't night time then. Okay, just got back. I think we can all agree this room needs a makeover. So let's crack on. Now that looks wonderful. Just looks gorgeous next to the taps. Oh. And one final thing to improve this room. Duster.
Get in, got the dust, save the cleaners a job. Worth the investment, I reckon. You see, look what I've done to the place. It's brighter, it's friendlier. Look at that. That is everything. It has got a little bit livelier here. A few people milling about, a few people outside chatting. Not really sure what's going on. Just hope it doesn't get loud and rowdy tonight. That's all I'm hoping. Well, I guess it's time for bed. Hopefully all goes well. Let's get ready. <laughs> For the day, uh, didn't sleep well at all. I got about two hours sleep, which is probably less than I got in the tent when I went camping. Bed super uncomfy. Pillows weren't great either. The talking and the shouting, the running around upstairs, and the banging and stuff during the night. I just couldn't get to sleep. Feel okay though, considering I only had two hours. I still can't believe somebody actually came into my room at six in the morning. Crazy. Right, I think I'm ready to check out and leave this place for good. I think we've really improved the place. You know, I've left. The uh, duster behind, little pillow, plant in the corner. I think we've really added some nice touches to the place. We brought it to life, we made it look livelier, colourful, welcoming. Anyway, I'm going to check out and I'll give my honest thoughts on this place once we've left. Let's go. Yes, we've checked out, we've finally left the hotel. Honest thoughts on the place? Yes, okay, it looked like an abandoned prison from the outside. Inside, it was kind of weird, it was like half sort of run down and sort of tired but also kind of looked like it was fairly new it was weird it was i've never known anything like it it was bizarre as for the room sort of what you expect for a one star hotel 35 pounds a night it was never gonna be fantastic obviously people shouting you could hear everyone's conversations which is why i knew someone was going to come into my room because i could hear them at reception <laughs> so uh luckily I, I got to him before he came in or just as he unlocked the door i was stood there topless so we did survive the night even though i didn't sleep much partly because i didn't really feel particularly safe given the banging the shouting the running around i don't know what was going on it's like someone's having to get a tig upstairs the big question though is do i think it's britain's worst hotel to be honest with you no not from my experience now, i can't guarantee other people's experiences obviously the reviews were horrific i mean talk about like drugs and sex work and going on that kind of thing i don't really know whether there's any truth to that or not but certainly from my experience i can say that it was fine you know 35 quid if you needed to stay there for a night for whatever reason it's fine so yeah i'm gonna be quite kind to it to be honest i don't think it's the worst hotel in the country because at the end of the day love lives here